Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough when you restart your game in Kokiri Village you restart at your house yeah this is the day two of recording basically that's why I'm over here but this time we are actually going to be leaving Kokiri Village yes you heard me right we are going to leave so here we go little cutscene occurs here and ninja where the heck did she come from? I don't know, but she's getting kind of freaky here. How did you know? You thought it was a Kokiri, didn't you? Or maybe you didn't. Because I am capable of leaving the village. Well, I, I hope we will, but you're still getting kind of creepy. Ah, uh, what is that? This? Shiny. Beautiful. It's the Fairy Ocarina. Your very first Ocarina. And it's played very easily, just with the C buttons and the A button. I'll show you some fun little tricks that I can do a little bit later on, because I'm going to have a race of sorts very shortly, so to speak, that I won't really be able to show off this sort of dealio thing. But you'll see what I mean as we get there. Uh, getting even creepier. Uh, uh, I need an adult! And thus, we left Kokiri Forest. She can't follow us because she's bound to the forest and will die if, if she leaves. But anyway, this is Hyrule Field, the largest area in the entire game. It is massive for N64 standards. <laughs> And it's pretty empty, I have to say. <laughs> uh, what you want to do is roll forward. Rolling is always faster than walking. Hopefully there won't be any more interruptions. No! Gaypora, Gaybora, why? Why are you here of all things? I thought I banished you to the Shadow Realm after I played Four Swords. Yes, I know, I've played this game before, and no, you can't skip his dialogue, and it always types out as quick as it types out right now, no matter how quick you press that A button. Oh, shoot, I guess maybe not. <laughs> uh, for, for some reason, I guess you could skip that particular portion? Hmm, weird. And if you click no, he'll repeat himself at that same rate. But in this case, I will click yes, because I did get all that. Because I know what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to go to Hyrule Castle. And I'd really rather not have his dialogue repeat. <laughs> I really hate those scenes when you have to talk with them. Anyway, what you want to do is see at the top of the map there, there's a tiny, tiny little gap. Aim for that and roll there as fast as you possibly can. On your first run through Hyrule Field, you should be able to get there before nighttime if you roll all the way there. See, you can see the gate now in the distance, just slightly off center. And what do you want, Navi? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know that! I, I am going! Stop stalling me, Navi! How dare you! Now, as you can see, sunset is coming, and we want to get there before sundown, before it turns nighttime. Otherwise, the gates will get, go up, and then it'll be extremely annoying, annoying because I'll have to fend off a bunch of enemies that keep randomly spawning. And there we go. We are safe. We're inside. We have infiltrated the complex. And the first thing that you want to do... Well, I guess I'll talk to this guard here. I was going to go inside that building. Oh, thank you. I'm... I'm, I'm quite happy to be here because there's a skull tool on here that I could definitely use. This place is also an excellent place to grind for rupees if you should ever need to for whatever reason. Uh, but the skull tool that you're looking for is in, I believe, the crate on the right. Eh. No, I didn't mean to talk to you. I want to roll into that crate. Well, well I am kind of destroying this warehouse here, so... You could try to arrest me if you wanted to, I guess, but 
I, I think you know that there's a spider infestation here that I'm gonna have to uh, take care of in here. There we go! By the way, do not touch gold skulltulas directly. Uh, they will do one heart of damage. Yes! I got a token! Woohoo! What is that, like 2 out of 100? Because I couldn't get a bunch of them in the Deku tree. You can always check your totals right here in your uh, inventory screen. So there you go. I'm just gonna clear out some of these pots here. I'm gonna spin the control stick to uh, quickly do a spin slash like that. Or a spin attack, whatever you want to call it. And... Yeah. Uh, that works for me. It, it, the spin clears them out pretty dang quickly. I want to... No, not jump. There we go. <laughs> why, why, why is it that the crates sometimes explode when I hit them and other times they don't? It is the greatest mystery of the Hyrulean world right now. And that's all I can get right now. Up there, I would need... Wait, actually, maybe just for the fun of it. Let's see if I can plop some stuff off of there. No... Usually stuff stuff flies out of them once I break them open, so they might fall off the ledge. But I was gonna say I need the boomerang to get that stuff. Anyway, this is the Hyrule Market, a very bustling town market here, and there's some guys dancing to each other for whatever reason, or it just seems like they're dancing. They maybe they're having some conversation. They just had too much Mountain Dew, just like me, or something like that, or too much coffee. I'm not sure. Uh, but really, there's not all that much you can do during the day except inside the buildings what what are you that's kind of rude of you oh uh, what do you have to say mr bearded man santa claus <laughs> uh i i guess it does little girl what do you think of that guy's beard don't change the subject that's rude uh dancing couple here i guess i'll talk to you Oh, you are so... That's evidently her talking to him, so I guess I used the wrong tone of voice there. I should use the more higher-pitched voice. And what do you have to say, shopkeep? Or a person standing out the shop randomly? No, I couldn't go to Lan Rollin Ranch because there's absolutely nothing for me to do right there at the moment. Well, there might be something I can do there, but not until it's I get somebody to go back over there, so to speak. Uh, people who have played this game before know what I'm talking about. And this lady's begging, or not begging, bra bragging about her puppy, uh, of which is going to get lost later and I'm going to be bringing back to her. And yeah, they are kind of different. And this is Malon, by the way. She is very, very important to this story because you can't progress without her item and whatnot. So she... Her dad went to the castle, and she's been looking for him, apparently. So we've got to find him. And I'm going to be going to that shooting gallery very shortly. And yes, I will enjoy the sights as much as I possibly can until I, you know, have to do some stealthy stuff that uh, I'm not supposed to be talking about later that I'm not supposed to know about. <laughs> and what? <laughs> I forgot about that lady. And what does she have to say? What? The, give me some of that. That would be kind of nice. I mean, I, I, I kind of need a lot of rupees for this adventure. I guess I could sell Navi or something like that. That would work for me as well. And, uh huh. And I'm not going to sell you something with C. That seems kind of odd. And what's up here? I completely forgot what's up here, actually. Ah, there's rupees! A bunch of pocket change and this guy right here. I haven't been up here in like the longest time and Hyruleans have big ears, huh? Interesting to know, isn't it? Anyway, let's go into one of these buildings one by one here. And uh Bombchu Bowling Alley. I don't believe they're open open right now. In fact, she appears to be dozing off. <laughs> Ow. Oh. Poopers. Well, I'll be back shortly. Over here is the shooting gallery. Once you get bomb chews, you're gonna have to do three of those things, and then you'll get an upgrade to something else. But we can't do that right now. Did I talk to you, lady? Uh, Temple of Time? I do know about that, but I guess you could tell us about that anyway. <laughs> yeah, I do like to explore all these dealios, especially in walkthroughs, so I tend to burn a lot of time just doing this sort of stuff. Anyway, shooting gallery is over here. This is our first main stop here. There's this guy, he's... Um... Not the prettiest looking guys, that's for sure. But I don't, I don't want to judge too much. Anyway, 
Don't, what? It's a game for grown-ups, but you're gonna let a kid play this? Oh, fine, fine, whatever. I'm not, not gonna question the game logic. The last time that happened, the universe imploded, and yeah. So, there's 10 targets, gotta do it with 15 shots with my slingshot, and you use the B button for your slingshot here, and... Oh! I'm not used to playing this. <laughs> it's been a while. Pretty sure one comes from the right then. There we go. And I'm not also not used to the GameCube controller, which is another issue. Uh, uh, okay, that works, that works. And one... Oh, shoot! No, 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 no! Crappers! I think you, you get a free game if you get nine of them, and I'm not even gonna come close to nine. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Uh, so those moving ones are gonna get me, I guess. I, when, if you win this, you get a uh, upgrade. So let's try this again. So I absolutely have to get this for my 100%ness. E. <laughs> I must get used to GameCube controller controls, pop outs, and explosions. No, 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 no. E. E. No. <laughs> It's just so touchy for me. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get 9 so I'll be able to get a free game. No, 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 no! Urgh! Well, can I... Oh, I guess 8s will give you a free game. <laughs> so... Eh. Okay. Uh, believe in yourself. You can do this, PK Gam. You can do this. Yes! This is looking good. No, no, no. Must get. Oh! <laughs> I am having more trouble than anyone has ever had with the shooting game ever, probably. Eh, I got nine this time. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. One more time. Blah, blah, blah. They give you the 15 ammunition every time, so you don't have to worry about like having to grind for uh, seeds or anything like that. Pop up and shoot. Good, good, good. Position yourself. One. Two, yes! Just gotta get the moving ones. Eh, eh. Okay, two more. You got him! Ah! <laughs> Come on, man! How many tries is this gonna take? How many? Jesus! <laughs> and I'm starting to forget their locations because I'm getting frazzled. <laughs> the one that pops up. Now two blue simultaneously. And okay, maybe I'm getting used to the controls after all. Oh, they're coming from the left. Yeah! Finally! Well, at least I only had to pay for one game, I guess. And that was definitely worth the Deku Seeds bullet bag, and that is an upgrade that'll take you up to 40 from 30. <laughs> well, I bet you enjoyed seeing me fail there, so. Anyway, I don't believe there's anything else I can do here until nighttime. So let's go over to the uh, Hyrule Castle grounds here. Well, it's just Hyrule Castle, I guess. And. Yeah, it's him once again. You know, why the heck didn't he just carry me to the castle? Why didn't he, why did he make me walk? I know he's capable of carrying me to the castle, but no, no, he made me walk and risk the sunset and those dang stall childs that pop up during the sunset. <sighs> Needless to say, I hate this owl with every fiber of my being. <laughs> anyway, what I would like to do here is, no, no, for the love of Arceus, no. <laughs> Now, I, what I'd like to do is wait until nighttime, which it's going to be. Now, listen. Huh, I was expecting a wolf to howl. Anyway, at nighttime, you can find a Skulltula in this tree if you roll into it. Uh, some Skulltulas, like these overworld ones, can only be found at nighttime, so keep that in mind if you're scouring for Skulltulas, and there's supposed to be someone here, but there's not someone here until it's nighttime, and when it's nighttime, you have to be inside the castle, so that means you have to leave the castle, then come back in to see that person, and listen. Yep, it's Melon. 
<laughs> and she's singing her uh, song there, and we'll find out what that song is later. And yes, I am looking for her dad. Uh, I kind of, because that is a pretty important aspect of this game, of which she's going to give me an item to get him back to her, so to speak. Yes, an egg will get him back to her, if that makes any sense. It is the weird egg, and it's something that we will definitely need. It's very important. You can't get through the game without this. Maybe we'll be throwing it at uh, Mal or, uh, Talon, excuse me. <laughs> anyway, now we're going to do a little event here. Uh, there is a lady. You remember that lady that was bragging about her uh, precious puppy? She's around here. Or at least I thought she was around here. Maybe, did she go back in the back alley or something like that? <laughs> I, I, for, I totally forgot where that uh, lady was. Well, there's a house over here. I forgot to go into the back alley during the daytime. Hello, guy. And packs of... <laughs> that is kind of weird, actually, come to think of it. Uh, but evidently, maybe, maybe they're all of his dogs and he's just trying to cover it up or something. It's like some sort of dog conspiracy or something like that. And uh, I don't remember if there were people back here during the daytime. I totally forgot about this. So there's two houses here. I believe the one on the left here is the bomb chew place, which isn't open yet. Yep, it's not open yet, all right. No, this one over here is, ow, oh, is something else. Da, da, da. Oh, there we go. This is the lady I was looking for. I can't find my puppy anywhere. I need you to look for it, please. Okay, now that I know where the freaking lady is, I also know, I actually know where the doggy is, but not where the lady is. That's the, the funny sort of thing. It's not in any of these. If you go, I think it's behind this stand right here. Well, it's behind one of these stands, dang it. <laughs> okay, maybe I don't know the exact location, but I do know it's behind one of these stands. Oh, this one, this one right here. I should have just went around the other way. Doggy, doggy, talk with me, doggy. Will you follow me, doggy? Yes, you will follow me, doggy. Okay. At least I think you will. I... Are you the one? I thought you were supposed to be a white doggy. Unless white doggy over here is the... Ah, oh, never mind. Let's just take this doggy back with uh, me at, to that lady. So, man, doggy, you're supposed to run faster than humans can. Dang it. Run faster, doggy. Go, 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 okay. Follow me into the back alley. I hope this is the right one. Because uh, I'm, I I'm almost positive it was, it was supposed to be the white one there. So I think this is going to screw me. <laughs> and that's what I thought. Oh, okay. And for some reason, she accepts the doggy anyway. Or at least the doggy accepts her for whatever reason. I don't understand that myself. Anyway, now I gotta try to attract that white doggy without attracting other doggies. Well, this one, is this one attached to me now? Because I'm pretty sure this is the one. Okay. Now, other doggies, do not follow me, please. Thank you. <laughs> now, in here we go. And... Richard! Ah, she gave a doggie a human name. That is preposterous. You're welcome. Now give me a present. Woo! Our first piece of hearts. If you collect four of them, as I said at the end of the Deku Tree, you get a heart container, which will give you another heart life at the upper left corner thingy there. And that's all I needed from her. Now what we're going to be doing is ending this part off. <laughs> I didn't notice how long this part has gotten. So I hope you enjoyed this part and I will see you in the next part when we go through Hyrule Castle.